Hey there YouTube, welcome to All Coin Picks. Today we are doing a coin analysis. Super excited, I have not done one of these in a while. But before we begin, don't forget to smash that like and subscribe button. And I wanted to say thanks to all my subscribers. We finally eclipsed that 6,000 mark and we're on our way to 10,000. Thank you all for the support. I appreciate every single one of you. Let's get started. Today's coin analysis is on a coin called Delphi. Now this one is not ICO. It has been in the market for a while, just completely under the radar. So let me get to it and let's get started. So today we're gonna change up the coin analysis a little bit, and this will also be used for future videos. First, we're gonna start is what is then the project, today's Delphi. We got the coin purpose, then the team, the market cap, the competition, the goals or the roadmap, the pros and cons of the project, and then we're gonna end it all with a star rating from one to 10. So Delphi is a decentralized open source social mobile prediction market platform. It uses market incentives to help market participants ex transparently express its confidence and judgments about the outcome of future events instantaneously, such as to effectively make predictions. They can also use their API and SDK to customize prediction markets based on different parameters. Their use cases include cryptocurrency market, finance, sports and entertainment, and many more markets. So what is the DPY token used for? It's fairly straightforward. It is required by users to participate in the Delphi prediction market. The value is stored in the blockchain until the prediction market is over and the funds are released. It is also used to buy shares and award winners. So something that's unique is Delphi's promise to give 50% of all their tokens, which equals to about 50 million, to their token holders in a linear distribution way within two years for free. So each month, Delphi will monitor the number of holders and the amount of tokens held by each person. And then at a randomly picked moment, they'll take a snapshot, which this is decided by Delphi, and then they'll reward their token holders. This program has already started, started in October 2017. And as I said before, will go for two years. So now we have the team. Our first superstar is Bo Wang. He's a definite superstar in my book. He's a co-founder of Factum and Wang Lutec. After that, we have the vice president of business development, Fox Holt. He gets his superstar experience for his investment banking experience at Morgan Stanley, and he's had some leadership roles at GE. After that, we have Mike. <laughs> he's the product managing director. And there's not much to go on because he does not have a LinkedIn. So I'm going off this description here. He gets his superstar experience for being the founder and lead dev of Juzi, which is the rank sixth best internet, which is rank six of all internet browsers in China. And he's also an original member of the Quinho 360, which is a internet security marketing leader in China. So Delphi has many more people on the team, but like I said, I'm just pointing out their superstars and to condense even more the superstars of the management team. Next, we have their market cap. We're looking at 52 million market cap, currently sitting around $1.80 or 16,000 sats. Their all-time high though was $4.69, around 32,000 sats. Their circulating supply, we're looking at 29 million. Right now, their volume is only 255,000, which I find this kind of weird because yesterday, was at 20 million and they've hit up to 45 million on January 15th. So I'm not understanding the volume differences here because 255,000 to 20 million is a huge difference. And that was only yesterday. So their total supply is 100 million and their exchanges they're on are OKX and then gate.io, two completely unheard exchanges that most of us are probably not even on. So next we have their competition. And as you can see, we have two charts, the prediction markets charts, polls, experts, and then their actual decentralized competition. We have Gnosis who's sitting around 250 million. And then I believe it's Agar who's sitting around 720 million. You can look at that, kind of compare, see which one you like better. So although Agar and Gnosis have been in the prediction marketplace for quite some time, they actually haven't issued any products yet. Delphi next month is releasing their product in China with over 200 thousand people already pre-registered so like i said this one is a total sleeper check it out let's get to the roadmap we're actually going to the white paper for this which is a new feature i'm going to be doing for all my videos i did in dragon chain 2018 q1 we got the launch of the alpha version 
integrate reality keys, provide API and SDK, security auditing and pilot run. Then Q2, we have the hackathon. We're gonna develop the decentralized storage and index, develop the KYC, the event filter, and then security auditing. So yeah, that, that's it though. I would like to see something that goes at least to 2019 so we get a better idea what they're doing for the whole year. So now for their pros and cons. They have an experienced team with the co-founder of Factum as their founder. They have considerably less market cap than their competition. If it were to reach Igar's market cap, we're looking at 15 times and five times that to reach Gnosis, which are some huge gains. They're under the radar, as I said, from the beginning to now, which I'm sure many of you haven't even heard of this company before this video. Also, a big thing, they have a huge presence in China already, which is a huge market. And so this is kind of the good and bad. They are not on any big exchanges yet. This is good because if it reaches something like KuCoin or Binance, it could really shoot the price up. And last but definitely not least, they have a product launch next month in China. Now for their cons. We're looking at a short roadmap, which I would love to see what their future plans are. They're not on any big exchanges yet, so it's hard to buy. How many of you have an OKX or Gate.io account? I'm sure not many of you. And they're very popular in China, but that's really it. So they have very low visibility right now. Delphi is going to be getting a 7.5 out of 10 stars from me. So they're not in any good exchanges yet, so it's hard to actually buy them. They have a tiny roadmap and it only goes to Q2 2018, and they have low visibility outside of China, and also they don't really have a working product yet. Granted, they do have it scheduled to be released next month in China, which is a huge market. They have an experienced team, low market cap compared to their competitors, and they're completely under the radar. So with the unique market, which could easily go globally soon or this year, we could see some huge gains from this one, and I believe could be a complete sleeper Check it out. Let me know what you think. Do your own research. This could be a complete sleeper. I'm hoping it gets on a good exchange soon. Thank you so much for your time. Don't forget to smash that like and subscribe button, and I'll see you next time.